What's going on, everybody? So, I want to I want to tell y'all a quick little story. My first time out here in Mexico. I mean, before I even moved out here. First time meeting a white girl. I believe the club was named Revolution. I mean, this was like back in. This was about maybe four or five, maybe five years ago. It was this club called Revolution. And of course, me, shit, I didn't think whole white people existed in Mexico. I mean, that's just stereotypical coming from the USA. So, you know, I hit up this club. And you got to remember, this is my first time really coming out here to Mexico. So, it was either the club was called Revolution or I think it was um, Club Animal. No, I think it was Re Revolution. They tend to change their names um, from a few years back. So, you know, I'm, I'm up here walk, walking around the club, and I'm just I'm just observing everything. So, it was this one blonde-looking chick. I mean, she was real, like, real in the hidden. So, you know, I walk over to her, and of course, me, I'm just thinking, you know, she just white girl from the United States, you know, California, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, damn, what's up, what's, what's your name, she was like, she hit me with the, como, I'm like, como, what the fuck you mean, <laughs> of course I didn't say that to her, but, that, but that's what I was thinking, like, como, I'm like, what is your name, um, shit, you trying to dance, and she just starts smiling, and you gotta remember, I'm I'm this ignorant, not aware, white girls exist in Mexico type dude. So I'm like, damn, like I don't understand. She don't speak English. I mean, this chick was like blonde, blonde hair, naturally, big sky blue eyes. <clears throat> and the thing that threw threw me off, <clears throat> yes, I am a Negro, so banging ass booty. Body shaped like a Coke bottle. I mean, like, God damn. So, of course, <laughs> I had to come up and say something to her. Because that's what struck my interest. Um, so, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just throw you my phone. Hopefully, she gave me the number. That's And this is all going on in my head. So, she started putting the number in my phone. And it started with 001. So, it was like this long ass 50 digit sequential number or se sequence of numbers as a phone number. I'm like, you know what, man? This bitch probably throwing me the fake number. It's whatever. I take the L. Go back to the States and call, call it a lost on this one because this, this bitch was fine. I mean, she was fire. But again, this was my first time really in, um, in Mexico. So. Now, years later, I'm here back in Mexico, and I live here now. And, of course, me adapting to um, how the culture is and doing a little bit of research. So, tend to find out, yes, they there are born and raised white people out here, especially the white girls. You know, in the history behind that, you know, of course, when the Spaniards came over here and um, when they conquered, and then they brought over more Europeans and they just lived and migrated and settled in different areas of Mexico. So, come to think of it, you know, she probably was from Guadalajara or Jalisco or um, from um, Hermosillo. So, there there are different um, European-centric-like um, white people born and raised out here in Mexico. So, that shit just threw me off. Like, you got this, you know, maybe 5, 9, 5, 10 um, rock solid, banging ass body with these, you know, sky blue ocean eyes here in Mexico when she was born and raised out here. So when she started speaking Spanish to me, of course, and she didn't know English. So I'm like, man, you know what? Just throw me your number. And at the end of the day, when I went back home, I just ended up deleting that shit because I don't, for one, I didn't think my phone had international calling, but then again, um, it just looked like a fluke number, so I deleted it. Damn, that shit really killed my day or killed my night for that night. But the moral of the story is that there are 
more European looking people out here born and raised that are from Mexico, but you know, they're just kind of in their um, migrated territories that they tend to stay in and adapt in, you know, from centuries ago uh, from their ancestors. So yes, those blondes do exist out here. And again, um, <clears throat> me kind of knowing the area a little bit, Jalisco, Guadalajara, um, I mean, that's like the, um, I think, um, Monterrey and, oh, of course, Cancun, but I mean, that's more the, um, American, Americanized by now, but again, they do exist out here, and I just remembered that story last night, so, uh, let me know what you guys think, especially the ones, um, that lived out here, but y'all now live in the U.S. and, you know, educate these people on, you know, it is a very big, diverse um, country out here. And always remember, Mexico is a nation. It gives you a national identity, not a fucking ethnicity. Ethnicity would be from your motherfucking people from Europe or your motherfucking people from Africa or from the Native Americas, which is indigenous people. So, yeah, that's my quick story on that. Let me know what y'all think. Drop them comments below. Negrito Grande. Vale pues.